I'm Grizzly Wells. I served in the British Special Forces, climbed the summit of Everest, and once killed a man with my bare hands. Now I face my greatest challenge yet, in the dangerous forests of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Watch me make history as I attempt to become the first person to explore the only uncharted region of Pennsylvania, Montgomery County, whilst showing you the skills to survive if lost in the wild. I dove off a moving train and started heading east, straight into the heart of Montgomery County, carrying nothing with me but a knife, insulated boots, a film crew, a portable heater, a Teflon pan and a spatula. Just the typical things a hiker would have with them if they were to somehow become lost out here. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to want to do is find myself a good clean batch of drinking water. It is believed that over 100 years ago, aliens crash landed in Montgomery County, polluting the soil with radioactive fuel and rendering most of the water in the surrounding areas virtually undrinkable. We've been hiking for about two hours now and we're officially miles away from any sign of civilization. But my throat is literally bone dry, and if I don't find some water soon, I'm definitely going to dehydrate in such a harsh climate. Temperatures in this region of Pennsylvania have been known to reach anywhere from 89 degrees to just slightly below room temperature. Just last year, a hiker was killed in neighboring Bucks County because she became stranded and wasn't able to keep hydrated. But what I'm doing now is keeping an eye out for food. Most of this area is basically uninhabitable, but if I'm lucky, I might be able to find myself some kind of nourishment. It's like they say, if at first you don't fricassee, fry fry a hen. A little British humor for you there. Oh, this is extremely rare. It seems I've stumbled across a wild foot-long sub. That sub is just loaded with vital calories and nutrients. But hopefully it doesn't contain any cheese because I'm lactose intolerant and any cheese could really upset my stomach. Shh, I think it hurt us. Perfect, no cheese. My stomach was full, but I had yet to find any water, and I was forced to drink my own urine for the first time today. Alright, I'd say we're about a good ten miles from the county line now. But it's beginning to get dark, so I think I better start finding supplies so I could build a shelter while I still have daylight here. A good night's rest will help my body recover a lot of the energy I'm going to need for the last leg of my trip. All right, I finished building my shelter. And as you can see, it's not much, but it should be enough to keep me safe and warm for the night. This is nothing like my bed at home. But at least I'll be able to get a good night's sleep. Come morning, I was completely refreshed and ready to begin the long hike that awaited me. Okay, great. Then I'll see you in uh, ten minutes. All right. Bye. We roll? Yep. Well, it was a much shorter hike than I anticipated, but it looks like I've officially made it back to civilization. I've stumbled across this payphone here and was able to hail a cab, so it looks like that's going to be my ticket out of here. I had accomplished my mission and secured my name in history alongside Columbus, DeSoto, and Magellan as the first person in history to explore the most dangerous region of Pennsylvania. Montgomery County.